G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Flashlight Crazy. Today I'm reviewing the Trustfire T90R and the hunting kit that comes with it. Let's check it out. All right, so this is the hunting kit you will get with it. So you can only buy this light just as is in the hunting kit. Now you will get a rifle mount there, trust fire made. You will get your trust fire user manual and in that package you will get one spare O-ring. You will get a pressure switch here. So you literally screw this onto the back. So you unscrew the tail cap. Okay, so you screw the uh, tail cap on just like a regular tail cap. And then I've just installed the battery so I can just show you quickly. So there we have one switch here. That is your primary switch. So your primary switch is your constant on. Click that and you've got constant on, but turn it off. And your secondary switch is your momentary. So down here is momentary, primary switch, constant on. All right, now you will get a custom battery. It is a Trust Fire custom battery, lithium ion, 5,000 milliamp, uh, 7.4 volts, and it is a protected circuit as well. So look, this is gonna be a plus or a minus for some people. Uh, for me, I don't mind it. It's just that it obviously limits me to only being able to buy this specific battery if something goes wrong with it. So that that is a concern. However, you know, it's unlikely anything's gonna go wrong with it anyway, so I wouldn't worry too much. But as I said, I do know that this will be a, uh, a deal breaker for some. Now you'll get your USB-C to USB-A charging cable, and that will charge just down there. Very deep USB-C port. There it is, really nice. Nice little platform to just uh, notch right in there. Look at that, flush as anything, not coming out. Quite a nice uh, USB-C port protector that. Here is your lanyard. Uh, now, after seeing the quality of the light, I would have expected a better quality lanyard, but it's obvious that they've just redirected funds to, away from the lanyard. Cause you know, it's fine, but it's not, it doesn't equal the quality of the light. Here you'll have all these uh, double-sided sticky pads, and this is just for mounting the pressure switch, mounting the, uh, the rifle mount, just uh, helping you get all your hunting gear ready. And you will get this little Velcro bit here, which is good for securing the cord of the pressure switch uh, to your rifle so that it's not flailing about anywhere. All right, so let's have a look at this. So at first glance, uh, it looks very, very nice. It does have a, a an Olight Javelot Pro or Turbo feel to it. Um, so immediately that's what it reminds me of. And you know what? It's I have tested this at night and it is very, very capable, this thing. So I am not disappointed in its performance at all. But just looking at the externals, it's uh, it feels nice. It feels quality. You've got your uh, raised edges on your bezel here. They go all the way around. So you've got your flat bits and your raised bits. That's nice because then if you leave the light on, you're going to see it. You have a very, very deep, smooth reflector. And at the end of that reflector down the bottom there is an SBT90 uh, LED. So a lot, a lot of brightness is gonna come out of this light there. There it is, and I'm not sure if that's on. No, oh God, it's so bright, this thing. Now moving down to the head, very, very smooth head, and then falls into the neck with your heat sink areas and your side switch. Nothing with the side switch unless the light is on. Then it comes down to the neck and the body. Now, very, very nice quality body here. It's got uh, it's got grippy knurling, but the machining and finish on it is really, really nice. I do not have any, any issues with the machining and finish with this light. It is professionally made. Uh, yeah, I've got no problems with it. This is the first time I've ever been introduced to Trust Fire. They did send this to me, I forgot to say. So definitely gonna be an honest review as usual, but they did send this to me. Uh, and so far, so good. Um, now moving on to the tail cap and tail clicky. Yep, don't have any issues with that. We got momentary and constant on. Could be a little bit more sensitive, the tail clicky, but nothing to worry about. It is nice. It's a nice tail clicky. It's just a bit, a bit loose and not as sensitive as I would like, but very large. So you can't really miss it. And that's a, that's a good thing about it. When you press your thumb into it, 
It is, it, you know, it feels good. You can't, you really can't miss it. So I like that about it. Now this will not tail stand just because the tail clicky protrudes further than the uh, tail tail clicky protectors. These are uh, these raised edges here, but they are where you will attach a lanyard. All right. So the measurements of the truss fire T ninety R come in at twenty six centimeters from head to tail. Oh, actually. 26.3 centimeters from head to end of tail clicky. The width of the face from the outside of the bezel is seven centimeters exactly. And the width of the body is two and a half centimeters. Width of the tail cap, three centimeters. So the tail cap kicks out half a centimeter from the body, which is nice. I like, I like how lights do that. Now, Trust Fire puts this light at 345 grams without the battery. So with the battery, it will be close to 400 grams without a doubt. Now, the UI of the Trust Fire T90R is relatively simple. You click it on with the tail cap and it will come onto your last known output. And then everything is controlled by the side switch. So that is your lowest mode there. That is 35 lumens. You'll get that for 112 hours and it'll reach 140 meters. Cycling up, you'll get medium mode, which is 350 lumens. You'll get that for 26 hours and it will reach 429 meters. That there is high mode, you'll get 1200 lumens on high mode. And you'll get that for four and a half hours or 4.2 hours, sorry. And that will reach 736 meters because it is pushed out by 135,424 candela. And that is your turbo there, absolutely blinding. That is 4,800 lumens which you'll get for 100 minutes. And that will reach 1,600 meters or 1.6 kilometers. And that is pushed out by 640,000 candela. Amazing. Now, if you want strobe, press and hold the side switch and it will activate strobe. And strobe is 4,800 lumens. Press and hold again, you will access your SOS mode. Single press, you go back to your last known output which in this case was turbo. You cannot turn this light off from the side switch. You can only cycle through your modes and access your strobe and then let go and then press and hold again and access your SOS. That's it. Now, if you press off with the tail clicky from SOS and press back on, it comes on into your last known output before entering SOS mode or the special modes, strobe and SOS. So there's no memory mode for strobe or SOS, but memory mode for uh, low, medium, high, and turbo. Now this light is IPX8 water rated, so that's two meters uh, water submersibility, and it is rated at one meter drop resistance. So pretty incredible to be able to drop this from a meter high and, uh, and, and it, it survive, because it is a heavy, heavy light. Now you've got your battery level indicator on the side there. If you can see, oh, it just went off, hang on. Turn it back on. If you can see the green there, it's not the best battery level indicator, I might say. It doesn't come on in the middle. It kind of just shines underneath and wherever it can see, get seen through this side switch is where you see it. I reckon it'd be easy to see in the darkness. Let's turn the lights off and just see how it goes. Oh, okay. That's not bad at all, actually. I take that back, that's pretty good. So that battery level indicator works very well. Green means you're good to go. Red means you need to charge your battery. Now, if we just have a look at this on the wall again, um, just going through the cycles, there is a bit of a tint shift there. You've got kind of like a greenish tint, um, but I must say that's only through the camera. So it looks like, a, on the wall, it looks like a neutral white. So there's no tint on the wall, only in the camera. And I just blinded myself by looking at the wall, trying to check if there was a tint shift in real life. I'm not gonna do that again because I'm seeing stars. As far as, uh, heat temp as, far as temperature goes on turbo, this light is heating up quite quickly, but it is not hard to hold. And obviously you can just shift your hand down here. So let's see, holding it at the neck, my two fingers are feeling the heat. Sorry, my thumb and my pointer finger are feeling the heat. My other three back here are not feeling anything. So if you wanted this on turbo for a sustained amount of time, I wonder if you might have to move your grip back here just when the neck gets very hot. But at the moment it's warming up, but it's not crazy hot. And this does have the system to, to make sure that it doesn't overheat and burn the LED. So uh, that, will, that will step down, but I'm just not sure when. 
And that is the brightest output on the mat there. Gorgeous spill, gorgeous hotspot. Might just get it back to medium or high, just because it's very bright. 4,800 lumens, it's crazy bright, this thing. And the spill is very, very nice, very clean, very crisp, like that. See how it looks on the, on the mat. There's the hot spot, and if I let it fall all the way back, it's just the spill. All right, let's take this outside, see what it can do, and come back for some final thoughts of the Trustfire T90R. All righty. Here we have the Trustfire T90R. And that is on its lowest output there. Very, very useful low output. Can't really see the spill yet at a distance, but up close you certainly can. But that large tree bush is, I'd say eight to 10 meters away from me and the hot spot is lighting it up very, very easily. The path is, yeah, 10 to 12 meters and still no dramas lighting that up whatsoever. Now, where should I step up? Okay, it's not quite getting that tree back there, but let's see if the next level does. Oh, yeah, it <laughs> it definitely did. Okay, so that's uh that's the next level up, and that is extremely useful. My goodness. Uh I got to say, I wasn't expecting such great performance out of this yet, but this is really really nice. Yeah. Now let's go back to the path. Oh yeah. Nice hot spot with a good uh, corona of, of bleeding around it. I like that. I like myself some bleeding, you know? Bloody wrappers. All right, aiming it at that tree, which is one to 110 meters away. 100, 110 meters away. Next cycle up. Nice, so you got some gorgeous spill coming alive now. Across the uh, field there, well over 100 meters. In fact, all the way back there's easy 150. Lighting it up like the sun. All right, final step up, bang, fully. That is some light. Holy moly. This is very bright, people. This is very bright. Now my hand is on the side switch, uh, so I can feel the head warming up. But what an amazing amount of light. Awesome. And back to low again. Okay, so this is really, really an impressive light. Very, very strong. Throws a major distance. Has a decent uh, LED, SBT90 LED. Definitely nothing to uh, complain about. Very long, smooth reflector. It's just, it's a performer. It does really, really well. Comes with the hunting kit. I think it's a great light. Now, this light comes in at 170 US dollars, but I have a discount code that will uh, allow you to get it for 116 US dollars. So that they are offering a massive discount. So if you're in the market for a thrower with uh, absolute epic amount of lumens, this one could be your pick, absolutely. Couple of negatives, I don't like the battery. I do get concerned that I would have to only shop for uh, the exact same place every time to get replacement batteries if something happened to it. Uh, I'm just, I'm always a bit iffy with custom, custom batteries. The tail clicky could be a little bit better in my opinion, but apart from that, and I guess the weight, it is a very heavy light, uh, but apart from that, it's a great light. It'll do the job 
and you know this can just be used to sit on your sit on your bench and when you want to see a very far away you've got you've got this uh, it could even be used as hunting but I mean it's going to add weight to your to your rifle that is for sure all right thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the review and uh, until next time stay cool and stay safe see ya